Less than 11 thirds of rationalizing the denominator. Example 11. Now, this particular type here, you've got two terms in the denominator position separated by a plus sign. What we'll do with this one is we'll multiply top and bottom by what's called a conjugate. That is the same thing, different sign. I'll just uh, write that name down, conjugate. Conjugate. Just helps you remember what to do. All right, so if a plus root b and a minus root b. So a minus root b is the conjugate of a plus root b and vice versa. So you just change the sign here. Again, this is 1. And what happens, of course, is that when you multiply, well, this becomes just a minus root b, but when you multiply these two together, the a times the a gives the a squared, and the root b by the root b is just the b. And a root b and minus a root b, they cancel each other out. So you just left with a, a rational denominator. Now here I've a different, slightly different case here. I've changed that to a, a both being thirds. Works the same way. Multiply top and bottom by the conjugate. Just change the sign. Keep these the same. And that now becomes now root a by root a is just a, and root b right root, root b is b. So that times that, that times that. You don't need to write the other bit out because you know it's going to go out. All right, now here's an, an example um, where we'll multiply top and bottom by the conjugate. And the conjugate of 2 plus root 3 is 2 minus root 3. Now the top will just be 2 minus root 3. And the bottom is 2 times 2 is 4. And root 3 by root 3 is 3. So the answer is just 2 minus root 3. So that's the interesting one, isn't it? 1 over 2 plus root 3 is 2 minus root 3. Okay, now in this top we've got 1 over root 2 plus root 3. Now what I'll do here, though, before I start, you don't have to do this, but it just makes life a little bit easier. We'll just change these ones around. Of course, the order of addition is, is fine. We can add it anywhere we like. Now, and we'll multiply that now by the root 3 minus root 2 over root 3 minus root 2. Okay, and that becomes root 3 minus root 2 over root 3 by root 3 is 3 and root 2 by root 2 is minus 2 and that becomes me root 3 minus root 2. Now if we do it the other way like this you would have got this result root 2 minus root 3 over, and this becomes 2 minus 3, which is root 2 minus root 3 on minus 1. And then that's not fully simplified. We nearly we should re multiply the top of our negative 1 and change them around, so it becomes root 3 minus root 2. So as you can see, this number is bigger than that one, just change it around. Not with minus sign, of course, but with a plus sign, you can. Or you, you could, but you have to put the minus up the top. It's just, it's fiddly, it wouldn't, wouldn't be worth your while.